Hi there, welcome to the Cultist Cinema. My name is Aaron, and if you're watching this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to become a patron, links is in the comment section down below or just above the comment section, depending on how YouTube uh, situates this time around. You can super chat and I'll donate, or, or most of all, just thumbs up and watch the video and have some fun. So this year, they did the 2023 Chainsaw Awards, and I don't have Shutter right now, so I didn't get the chance to watch it. I did find the ballot online and I have yet to see the results. So we're going to see that uh, together. What I want to do first though, I thought it'd be kind of neat to do is I am going to look at the ballot. I'm going to pick my choices for what I think should win for each of these ones right here. Then after I do that, um, without looking, because I have not looked ahead of time, we're going to go see how many agreed with like, did I agree with consensus that have completely different thought on the, um, on the film. So we'll go through them all and uh, have a little bit of fun with this. So here we go. So best wide release movie. So we got Barbarian. I like that a lot. Actually, Black Phone, that was okay. Uh, nope, that was a really good film. Uh, that won a lot when it came to uh, the uh, Dead Meat Awards. It won like, it's pretty much sweeped it. Uh, so, it, you know, could here too. Uh, Pearl, that was my personal favorite of these here, and X. X is really good. I think overall, when it comes to these, it's between, for me, it's between Barbarian and Pearl. That's only because I haven't yet finished Nope, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I got to sit back and, like, watch it in one full sitting. I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to go with Pearl just for that, like, for nothing else, for that uh, ending sequence. Uh, because that monologue, anybody that's ever studied acting at all, that is insanely great. And Mia Goth, apparently, she did that. That's her, that's her monologue. So best wide release, Pearl, uh, if there's a secondary one, I would say Barbarian. Least favorite choice out of these is probably going to be The Black Phone. Not that it's a bad film. It's just it's not in the same tier as some of these other ones right here. Let's go for Best Limited Release Movie. Orphan First Kill. I actually really like that. I didn't think I was going to, but I did. Resurrection. I don't remember it. Uh, Something in the Dirt. Same thing. Terrifier 2. I enjoyed. I can see fans picking Terrifier 2. Mad God is a big choice as well, but... Uh, my thought on this one, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the consensus here. It's it's weird. It's cheesy. It makes no sense at some points, but I just love the heart of it. And it is the gore fest that is Terrifier 2. That's what I'm picking, and I'm, I really do think that that's what the fans are going to pick as well. Orphan First Kill, that would be my second choice. But Mad God could like throw us for, uh, for a loop with that one. Best First Feature. We got Blood Relatives, Deadstream, The Sadness, Watcher, and We're All Going to the World's Fair. Now, I'm going to guess that the sadness, which is very, very depressing, <laughs> is going to be the choice. For me, it's Watcher. And I'll, I'll explain it even a bit more. Watcher is one that I watched with my, uh, with my dad when I was in Canada. But it became a very important one for me. And it hit me in a, in a, it hit me in a really hard spot. Because I recently moved to Morocco. And I don't speak French. And I don't speak Darja, which are the two main languages right here. And Watcher is about a girl that goes with her, her boyfriend to, a, uh, to another country where she doesn't get the language. And sometimes things are lost in translation. But at the same time, she witnesses who could be a serial killer. But nobody quite believes her. And uh, there's a sequence there where she's trying to get people to, to like get, get her boyfriend to understand. And there's even a scene where he doesn't realize that she started to like pick up on certain language, certain things. So when he says something that's sort of dismissive, he says it in, in his language, but she picks up on what it is. Uh, but anyway, so going through this whole, like a new, new place and going through the whole language thing, I, I felt like seriously with the, with the character. Also, it's a great film. Uh, it's uh, it the goes off, starts off a bit slow, but it really picks up. It's got a great ending. I love the way that it turns out. And uh, Watcher is my choice. I'm, everybody's going to pick the sadness. I'm, I'm learning a new language. I'm using Duolingo. <laughs> Watcher's the one for me. Best streaming premiere movie. We got Fresh, Hellbender, Hellraiser, Prey, and A Wounded Fawn. This is really hard because I really like Hellraiser. I really like Prey. But I got to give it to Prey because I did not expect a... Uh, a predator film to work in 2023 after having so many bad predator films, but it did. It did a great job. Um, I watched the English version and I watched 
the uh, I think it's Comanche Comanche version of it as well. So, and I like both. So, yep. Uh, pray for me. But a uh, Hellraiser, I would not be sad to see Hellraiser. Like, get it. Best international movie. Uh, I haven't seen all these. Uh, Hatching in the Innocence, Piggy, Salome, Speak No Evil. Oh, God, I don't remember these very well at all. I know I've seen a couple of these too. We're, we're going to say Speak No Evil because I, I, I remember it, but only slightly. Best series, we got Del Toro's, Cabinet of Curiosities. We got Chucky, Stranger Things, What We Do in the Shadows, and Yellow Jackets. Now, I really think Yellow Jackets is great, but I haven't seen a lot of it yet. Chucky is fantastic. Uh, I, I love this series. It just keeps getting better and better. I wish I could say Cabin of Curiosities, but I'm sorry, Del Toro. Some episodes were kind of really missed and some were hit. But, and as much as I like Stranger Things, I hated the fact that they went for hour and a half long episodes for every single episode. It just, you know, it's, it's a bit much of a bit much. But uh, Chucky, yeah, I'm going to get the Chucky, even though I do love what we do in the shadows. It's kind of like my, my fun watch. What do I think people are going to pick? Yellow Jackets, for sure. But... Stranger Things could be that vanilla win. And I do think that is vanilla win. I really do. Best documentary feature. Okay, this is going to be a little bit biased because one of these here, I financially support it. And if you watch the after credit sequence, you're going to see mine with a list of a ton of other names on there. There's the found footage phenomenon. Haven't seen it yet. Looking forward to it. In Search of Darkness Part 3, Call to Cinema. Our name is one of the people on that because we I went for the... Uh, you basically, I went into the, what do you call it again? The crowdfunding for that one. Living with Chucky. Pennywise, the story, it was really good, actually. I haven't seen This Is Guar. Uh, so in Search of Darkness 3, of course. Uh, I'm a big 80s horror fan. And they do a lot of the shot on, shot on video stuff and a lot of the kind of like straight to video titles. And I love that stuff. Best lead performance. If it's here, it's easy. Uh, Anna Deal for Nanny. Isabella Furman for Orphan. First Kill. That's really good. Mia Goth for Pearl. Yep, this is the winner. Uh, Rebecca Hoff, Resurrection. Actually, I did like Resurrection. Uh, we got Nope, Prey. Uh, Amber Midthummer is really good in Prey. Uh, Makia Monroe and Watcher. Oh, my God. Uh, Kiki Palmer, I love. Uh, and for the little bit I saw Nope, she was really good. A Wounded Fawn, Josh Rubin, that's good as well. Taylor Russell and Bones. I'm sorry, Mia Goth. Um, she's the queen right now. Uh, I love to give it to Amber Midthunder because I really like her performance. But Mia Goth is just head, head and you know head above. Like I, I expect, I will be very, very surprised if Mia Goth does not does not get this category. Best supporting performance: Jamie Clayton and Hellraiser. So far, that's a strong yes for me on that one. Uh, Ethan Hawke in the Black Phone. He did a good job in that movie. Uh, he's a you know he's a, no surprise. He's a bad guy. Justin Long and Bar oh Justin Long and Barbarian. That was a good role. That was a douchebag role. And Justin Lang did a really good job as a douchebag. Madeline McGraw in The Black Phone. She was actually better than Ethan Hawke. Um, young girl. She does a great job. Expect her to do some great things in the future. Jenna Ortega, Scream. I like Jenna Ortega. Not for Scream. Mark Rylance, Bones and All. Oh, it's here. It's right here, guys. Rachel Sennett, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Any movie that you see this actress in, she is going to 110% steal the freaking show. She does. Uh, she had her first leading role in the movie called Shiva Baby, which I own. It is fantastic. Uh, Rachel Sennett, 100%. I don't need to say anybody else. Okay, Brittany Snow, X, great. Kristen Stewart, Crimes of the Future, fantastic. Stephen Yeun, nope. Okay, it's fantastic still. But it's it's uh, it's Rachel Sennett. It's always Rachel Sennett. Best director. One moment. So my Siri went up there for a second. I do apologize. Uh, Zach Krager from Barbarian. So I got a history with this because I'm a big fan of the whitest kids you know. It was a, a series, like a, a skit series, kind of like Kids in the Hall, except a little bit edgier. Um, but uh, the lead, uh, actually, he passed away, unfortunately, recently, at a very young age. But one of the guys in, in there, one of the, and one of the standouts was Zach Krager. So, and I see that a lot, like horror, like comedians or comedy performers that kind of switch over to horror. Jordan Peele is the perfect example of that. Zach Craig's Barbarian is a fantastic opening uh, like film for a director. It's really, really good. David Cronenberg, Crimes of the Future. Some people forget this is a remake of an older one, but it's, you know, anyway, uh, that's good. Chloe O'Connor for Watcher. Oh, shoot. Watcher, why do you keep throwing me for a loop? Jordan Peele for Nope. Ty West for X. Why not Ty West for Pearl? Uh, X is fantastic, though. There's a sequence on X. 
where uh, Mia Goth's character decides to go to um, this lake, and she's uh, she's swimming. And we know because we'd seen in a previous scene that there's a big like alligator croc. I'm not sure it's one of those two, in the uh, in this kind of like lake swamp area, gigantic one, right? And so she's in the water, and we know she's in danger. She doesn't know she's in danger. The audience knows. It's the Alfred Hitchcock trope of you, if you have two people in a room and a bomb blows up, you get like that one second shock value, right? But if you got two people in a room and you sh or and you show ahead of time somebody coming in and putting a bomb under the table and we watch these people talk back and forth, then we get that tension is built. And X does that here. We at like we see we eventually see the you know the crop kind of surfacing up. We see her. We see her getting closer to the uh, to the dock. We see it kind of coming in. And I will tell you what happens. You're going to know because, well, there's a third movie coming to come back scene. But, uh, but yeah, that is a masterful scene. So uh, although I do want to give it to Zach Krager for a Barbarian because I think that's an utterly fantastic movie, I'm going to give it to Ty West for Nope. I just talked myself into it. I was initially going to give it to Zach Craig. Best Cinematography. Um, X. Um, I, I love the cinematography in Pearl. But there's just something about the way that X got everything right. I think Pearl is a, is a better constructed film, a better written, a better acted film. Though, don't get me wrong, X is fantastically acted. It's well done. Um, if you've never seen a slasher movie before and you want to go in with, with, with one, that's going to be, that's not going to insult your intelligence. It's going to make you feel pretty good coming out. Uh, watch X, 100%. I don't ever suggest anybody watch Terrifier 2 as a first slasher film. It's a little bit intense, guys. Um, so, yeah, we're going to give it to X. Though Nope did some amazing stuff what, from what I saw. No, no, X is getting it. Because that would be between X and Pearl. Men, meh. Best screenplay. We got The Black Phone, Barbarian, Pearl, Nope, and The Menu. The menu is really good, uh, but we're going to give it to Pearl. Uh, Pearl's really getting a lot here. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, Barbarian could have easily got that one too. It's just that scene, oh my God. Like, as, you know, guy I want to act, and I will always consider myself an actor, that scene, that scene with Mia Goth, it is amazing. Best score. We got Michael Abels for Nope, Jeff Barrow and Ben Salisbury for Men, Tyler Bates the wrestler <laughs> and Tim Williams for a pearl, John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, and Daniel Davis for Halloween ends and Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross for bones and all. Some people are going to pick Reznor just because it's Trent Reznor. I'm not going to lie. They're going to do that. And some people like me would pick John Carpenter just because it's John Carpenter. What's got the best girl? Squirrel. Squirrel. Score though. God, this is it's like a sweep. I feel like I'm cheap. Yeah. Pearl. Uh, Halloween Ends would be second place, by the way. Best makeup effects. Crimes of the Future is here. We got, that's got some great effects. Barbarian's got some really cool effects, especially in a certain sequence that I won't give away. Terrifier 2, yes. Hellraiser, actually, I was disappointed about the effects. And X, X, I wouldn't, like, Mia Goths, like, plays dual roles and the character, the, uh, the Pearl character, uh, the old lady, is amazing. But I got to give the Terrifier 2. It's it's just it goes all out there and it goes old school with with a lot of their stuff. As much as I love the old school stuff of X and I love the way that's done, I'm not going to sweep everything with, with Pearl and X. Like Terrifier Two did really good with that one, so it's getting a, getting an award there. Best costume design: Nope, Prey, The Monsters, Crimes of the Future, and Pearl. Oh, why do you do this to me? See, I want to give it to Pearl because it's it's. It's a period piece, and I love the period piece aspect of it. But I'm going to go against my own thoughts because I don't want this to be, like, totally, like, sweeped. I'm going to say Prey. I really like Prey. Best creature effects. Oh, this is an easy one for me. It's going to be Prey. Like, there's hatching, VHS 99. Nope. Jurassic World Dominion. Hell no. <laughs> and there's Nope. Uh, I haven't seen on Nope. That's the thing, guys. So uh, we're going to go with Prey. Best nonfiction series or miniseries. Okay, I watched a lot of these. I like these. 101 Scariest horror, horror Movie Moments of All Time. Cursed Films 2. Ooh. The Boulet Brothers' Dragula Titans. I did like that, actually. Joe Bob's Ghoul Tide Get Together. 
I love me some Joe Bob. Queer for Fear, also super cool. So these are really cool. I'm going to give it to, I'm going to give the Chris Films too. I do like Chris Films. I, it's between Chris Films and Joe Bob for me. Uh, like these are five like good choices. Like I, it could go either way. If anything that wins, I'll be glad. I expect Joe Bob to win. One, because he's Joe Bob. And two, Diana Prince uh, <laughs> is there. And she is not just like, she's super gorgeous, but she's super horror geeky. And uh, when I, well, I don't always usually agree with Joe Bob. I 100% of the time usually agree with Diana Prince. Also known as Darcy the Male Girl. Best short. I haven't seen these. Uh, Blink, Close Your Eyes. Seems similar there. Guts, Meet Friend and Old Glory. I haven't seen them. So we're going to go with Blink. Why not? Let's go with Blink. Best Amityville. Okay, they always have a joke category here. So which Amityville movies are we looking at now? Anvil Christmas Vacation. Anvil in Space. Anvil Karen. I know that's a real one. Are these all real? Anvil Scarecrow 2. Anvil Uprising. I'm going to choose Anvil Karen because I uh, recently worked uh, at, a, as a, uh, at a call center. And... Um, I was the manager guy. So I was the guy that when somebody said, hey, can I talk to your manager? I was the person that they spoke to, but I was also the person that sometimes would say, hey. And I, I, I kid you not. Like there are people out there that are so entitled that you could be the manager and then they'll ask you, can I talk to another manager? At which point for me, that answer was usually, oh, you want to talk to another manager? No. Like, no, that's not happening. All right. So let's see the actual winners. Fangur's got them up there. It took a while to find these, actually. So just one last time, I chose Pearl for the best wide release. Best limited one, I chose CFR2. Best fe first feature, Watcher. Uh, best streaming premiere movie was Prey. Best international movie, I chose Speak No Evil. Uh, best series, I gave that to uh, Chucky with a strong thing on Yellow Jackets. Best Documentary Feature in Search of Darkness 3. Best Lead Performance, Mia Goth. Best Supporting Performance, I gave that to Rachel Sennett. Best Director, I gave to Ty West. Uh, best Cinematography, I gave to Elliot Rocket for X. Uh, best Screenplay, I gave to uh, I gave to Pearl. But uh, I'm second guessing, and Barbarian's really good too. Best Score, I uh, I gave to uh, I, I think I gave it to Pearl. Best makeup effects, Terrifier two, best costume design, Prey, best creature effects, Prey, best nonfiction series, Chris Films two, best short. I don't know. We'll go with Blink. Why not? And Anvil Karen. So let's go over to the to the results. <clears throat> see it. See how excited or disappointed I'm going to be. Best wide releasing movie, The Black Phone. Okay, it's not a bad movie. Like, I'm not, no, don't get me wrong. Joe Hill, I like Joe Hill. Really like Joe Hill. Do I think the Black Phone should have been, like, in first place? No. Do I think Black Phone should have been in second place? Also no. Like, there was way, way better choices here, my friends. Uh, and this is by, you know, it's voting on, like, census. So, like, you know, it's, it's the majority. But we got Nope and Pearl and X and Barbarian and Black Phone. Black Phone is the least of those i'm i will say that in my not so humble opinion this this is this is objectively wrong for me <laughs> best international film we got speak new evil so yeah it is the one i thought it was perfect so i, I will i will allow speak new evil <laughs> okay best director jordan peele no, i can see that like you know i i had you know best limited release movie terrifier 2 yes I, I, I called that one. I did call that one. Best first feature. Watcher. Huh? Huh? Did I not say that? Did I not? Did I not have a diatribe? All the Watcher and my experiences. Other people. Other people. You feel me? Best screenplay. The Black Phone. Seriously, guys? Like, seriously? <laughs> Best streaming premiere movie. Prey? I can, I can dig that. Best lead performance. Mia Goth. Kind of knew it. Best cinematography. No, no problems with that. Ender's Eyeball Award. I didn't see that award there. I guess maybe it's, it's uh, Lauren Laveria in, uh, for Terrifier 2. Yeah, for sure. Best Supporting Performance, 
Madeline McGraw and the Black Phone. Totally, totally get that one. That's not what I chose, but uh, she was really good. Best Creature Performance, Prey. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I chose that one. Best Editor's Eyeball Award. Emily Bennett and Justin Brooks, Alone With You. Uh, I'm not sure what these eyeball awards are, but uh, okay. Best Costume Design, Prey. That one I did choose. I still think Rachel Sennett got, got robbed here, though. Uh, best Documentary Feature, Pennywise, The Story of It. I'm okay with that. Best Series, Stranger Things. Oh. Could that be more generic? I tell you. <laughs> I know. It's like, it's popular. It's Best Makeup Effects, Terrifier 2. 100% agree with that one. Best Nonfiction Series or Miniseries. 101 Scariest Horror Movie Moments of All Time. Okay. Like for me, like the, those things nowadays, that's a, you know, you can do that. Anybody can like, you do those on YouTube. But, but there's like, there's better choices. Editor's Eyeball Award, Mason Thames for the Black Phone. What What is with the Black Phone and all this love? Um, best Short, Close Your Eyes. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen any of the shorts. Best Anvil, Anvil Christmas Vacation. How can you say that when there's an Anvil Karen there? And for Karen, obviously the chase. Like Christmas Vacation, I love Christmas horror movies. I really do. But I'm sorry, there's nothing scarier than a freaking Karen. Karen. Best kill. Oh, there's the best kill. Killing Allie in Terrifier 2. That's a pretty gory kill too. So what do I think of this overall? Well, I chose some different things. I think Rachel Sennett should have won. But Rachel Sennett is, uh, is you know, she is, she's Rachel Sennett. I think she's amazing. Uh, I, I'm a little disappointed with Black Phone and all these wins. Uh, I, I kind of am. Like, it's good, but it's it's not the rest of the film's good. Nope, like, for that one, I can't really. The biggest surprise for me, uh, aside from Black Phone winning, because that just seems very, very blah, is uh, best first feature being Watcher. I, I loved it. But it's not one that I thought was going to be like a a general consensus one where the casuals would come and vote with it as well. The casuals. That sounds so like obnoxious. Lead, lead performance with me, Goth. You know, we, we, we knew. We, we knew. Like it, it had to. It had to. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, Rachel Sennett, I wish she would have won, but I'm not at all bothered when we got Madeline McGraw, she was so good in the Black Phone. She was one of the best parts of the Black Phone for me, actually. Uh, you know, she kicked butt, but lit, like she did. Uh, but um, Rachel Sennett, but I'm, yeah, Rachel Sennett, and I'm sure Madeline McGraw oh, both win lots of awards in the future as well. Oh, it's pretty good overall. However, I am not as stoked that the uh, Black Phone, that, that, that's, my, that's my one sticking point. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. It's all right. It's a it's a movie. It was it was decent. Wasn't that decent? Wasn't best film of night twenty twenty two decent? Uh, yeah, twenty twenty three. But uh, I mean, like, Terrifier was there, man, and Nope and X and Pearl. Like he's like, but it's a good movie. Okay. This has been my reaction video to the 2023 Chainsaw Awards from Fangoria. Good job, guys. For everybody that voted, fantastic. Did I vote? Uh, yeah, I did, actually, very early on because I got an email from Fangoria. I got an email asking me to vote, and I got an email asking me that I want to get a subscription. Uh, yes, I do, but I live in Morocco, so unfortunately, I can't right now. Uh, but uh, I'll be looking forward to seeing what comes out next year. This was a very good year for films, so even like the lesser of the films, Black Phone. Still a great film. Like, I, I'm ragging on it. I'm kind of maybe a little bit comedically, but still. Even the lesser of the films is still a great film. And why the hell wasn't Barbarian? Was Barbarian even listed for the... Let's let's just see something. Yeah, it was. Okay, Barbarian was there. Black phone. No. Okay, wait a minute. No, no, I'm not good. I'm not, <laughs> I am not good with this. Zach Kreger's Barbarian was there. And with Justin Long... Playing the super douchebag, and it goes to uh, whatever. 
Uh, my chase is still uh, is, is still going to be other uh, extra pearl. But there you go. That is the Chainsaw Awards for 2023. And I will hopefully see you guys back here next year so we can see the Chainsaw Awards for 2024. Who knows? Maybe by then I'll have Shutter and we'll be able to do a watch along or something like that. And then I can give you my thoughts, good or bad, uh, in real time, which if I do with that, if I do a watch along, then you'll see that on my Patreon channel, which is down there. There's a link. So huh, there you go. I will see you guys here really soon for a uh, for a brand new video. And thank you for watching. I am Aaron. This has been the Call to Cinema, and I only have one thing one thing left to say. Come on, X was right there. Pearl was right there. See you next time.